John Todaro is a Needham senior research analyst, joins us now, has a buy rating on Coinbase and raises his price target to 220. And I'll, let me just start there, John, in terms of price target and sort of what gets you there. I think you're working with, and correct me if I'm wrong, a value of about eight times EV over revenue in terms of a multiple on 24. Why do you think that's appropriate for Coinbase? Yeah, we, so we actually raised that multiple. Um, what you have now is a, a very different environment from a few years ago. You now have a Bitcoin ETF out there. It's an institutionalized asset class. That takes some of the risk out of the space. There's a little bit of that regulatory overhang. Coinbase is obviously in that lawsuit with the SEC. Um, we expect more of a favorable outcome on that front as well, though. So we think some of the, the main concerns that investors had around the story, a lot of that's been de-risked. Uh, another big one, you know, some of the, the biggest bear points we heard from investors was a Bitcoin ETF. You have these low-cost ETF products. That's going to take share away from Coinbase. Um, but we didn't see that either on um, commentary from Coinbase management or commentary from Robinhood management. Both said that Bitcoin ETFs have been additive to their Bitcoin direct buying and selling business. So we think some of those big concerns that were overhanging over the stock have been flushed out a little bit. You don't still think that's going to be a concern, though? I, I get that there was a lot of excitement around the launch of the ETFs this time, which drove up the price and drove up the enthusiasm around the ecosystem. But but going forward, these ETFs are much easier, accessible ways to buy Bitcoin. I would argue, so you're going to, you have a Bitcoin ETF, you're likely not to see altcoin ETFs, at least for the next few years. So in an environment where, where Bitcoin does very well, even if they lose some Bitcoin trading share, they're more than going to make up for it in the altcoin volumes. Altcoin, so non-Bitcoin trading was 71% in Q4 23. It was the highest uh, for any quarter in 2023. We expect that to increase even more if there's a crypto bull market here. Typically, you see that Bitcoin dominance decline, altcoins see higher volume. So even if they do lose some Bitcoin share, we think they more than make up for it on the altcoin volume. And that shouldn't see any fee compression because there's no ETF on altcoins and likely that there won't be for the next couple of years. Why would you buy Coinbase as a stock over Bitcoin, the ETF? What's the investment case there? Yeah, I would say, you know, Coinbase is a little bit levered to more businesses uh, or more products than, than just Bitcoin. So one, they're a little bit hedged where they have the interest income from USDC. So not only do you have the hedging benefit there, but you also have the growth in payment adoption underpinning that should benefit Coinbase. Where Bitcoin, not quite as much. Bitcoin's not really used too much as a, as a currency like stable coins are. So um, you have that angle. The next is the altcoin activity. So typically in a bull market, which if we are in one, altcoins see greater outperformance than Bitcoin. Coinbase is, once again, a little bit more levered to those altcoins. So if altcoins are outperforming, Coinbase is going to outperform. So it's it's really a, a bet for Coinbase. It's more of a bet on total crypto adoption growing. Bitcoin is much more a bet on, on just Bitcoin. 